All right, it's been a while. It's good to be back. I uh, just saved myself between like 10 and 20 hours last week editing with transcriptions. This is something that I told myself I would never do just because it didn't quite make sense to me to be reading transcriptions and trying to edit from there. And I just didn't really realize how incredible of a tool and workflow this is. I promise it will change how you think about things and save you tons of time. So I have two clips here, footage and audio. This is a simple demonstration with one camera clip and one mic, but this will work with multiple cameras, multiple different mics. I'm gonna create a new sequence from this clip. I'm gonna drag in audio from the mic, sync it, and just for my organization, I'll just trim the head and tail. I will go over to the text window, and if you don't have that, you can just go window text. In this case, I have the two mics that were on the camera and the mic that I want right here. It says two source clips have not been transcribed. This is the audio from the video clip, which I don't want, and this is the audio from the mic, which will obviously sound better. So I'm going to uncheck this and just hit this. If you have a timeline with multiple cameras with tons of audio tracks, when I did this for real, I just rendered out the entire timeline as one wave file, brought that back in, and then just transcribed that one wave file so that there weren't 50 different clips that it was analyzing. So in this case, we'll just do this one and I'm going to hit transcribe. I can now operate in a magical way. So we have this three minute and 30 second YouTube intro, which is just far too long. And there's a couple different ways that we can tackle this. I'm actually just gonna call this OO and I'll duplicate this and call this O1, just so we have OO as a backup. So I'm gonna go back to our text and first and foremost, wherever I click, it will bring the playhead. If I click play, it will let us follow along. This little icon here is a gap. When I click the gap, we can see in the timeline that it selects that gap and I can just hit delete. Right here, I'm just reading through this and I see, but this is something I told myself I would never do. So I just don't wanna hear the word but, so I'm gonna delete that. And we can see there's a little gap here and here, so I'm gonna delete that. Say I didn't want this whole entire part, I'm gonna select this and delete it. That selection, deleted this whole area right here. Let's say that I redid my intro and I want this piece right here, Command X, I can cut it and go back to the beginning and insert it and it goes there. So you can move around text and move swiftly. Another thing that is wise to do depending on your workflow, let's say that we're back with this and you have shared this with your team on like Frame or Vimeo and you want this to stay intact and you always wanna be able to reference back to this. Duplicate this timeline just to keep the same settings and I would say like edit one and I would say like oh, oh pull knowing that we're pulling things from this, but we're not changing the sequence at all. So I'm gonna to go to edit one, clear out everything, and pancake the timeline, and go into our pull sequence, go to text, let's make this a little bigger, and I am gonna say, all right, it's been a while, it's good to be back. I just saved myself between like 10 and 20 hours last week with transcriptions in Premiere. And let's say that I was the type of YouTuber to then cut to some music and B-roll with an intro. So I'm gonna select this and copy it and just go into this sequence and paste it. And the transcription will also go to this sequence. So if you've transcribed it here and you're moving it elsewhere, it will keep that transcription wherever you are moving to. I see some gaps here, so I might have been trying to figure out what I was saying. I see, I always used to say that and then I redid it. So this is an example of where this helps so much. Without even looking into the footage or on the timeline or listening to anything, I see here that I redid it. So I can just grab from here. I've always said I can't edit as quickly on this computer as I can edit in my mind. So let's just say that's the whole thing I wanted. I will copy that and put it in here. Now we'll go back to here. And let's just say that we weren't editing with transcriptions and we're in the timeline. I always used to say that I've always said that I can't edit as quickly on the computer as I can edit in my mind. Let's say I like that statement there. This is a mess up right here. So I'm going to say I want to grab this part here. So I'm going to cut this. Oh wait, where did I end saying that? So I'm going to have to listen to it again. I've always said that I can't 
edit as quickly on the computer as I can edit in my mind. I see that it's around here somewhere. In my mind. And it's right there. So I'm going to select that and then copy that and put it in there. In the transcriptions, you see it right here. You know that this is the first word of the statement. You can see where it is in this panel right here. And you read through and I want to end on mind. Just select it, copy it and paste it in here and you're good to go. I could start highlighting it to know where I am and then find my end point and just, you know, shift and drag it there and then copy, paste. It's so much easier to select a word than it is to be zooming in and out of the timeline, finding the perfect place to cut in the waveform, continuing on to find where the exact endpoint is and slicing, copying and pasting when in the transcriptions, highlight the text, copy it, paste it. If you have something shorter and you just need to shorten it down, deleting the things that aren't needed is very easy. So we can go through read here, say I don't want this. I trim this down. I repeated a word, one single word, delete that word, delete the gaps. When somebody is saying a sentence and is long winded about it, you can really get that sentence down. For example, here, when I say, and that whole process doing that for, you know, 10, 20 hours of footage in like a documentary style is not always bothered me. That's a problem. So I'm going to shorten this really quickly. So that whole process for 20 hours of footage always bothered me. Let's see what that sounds like. That whole process for 20 hours of footage always bothered me. I've also found that when you have tons of footage that you're going through, that after, you know, like half hour or 45 minutes around that area, I personally start to feel like I'm not paying attention. You can switch back and forth between editing traditionally and editing with the transcriptions. I'm not a writer, so it just never made sense to me to be editing by reading and rearranging words, but the way that it works in here is just like so fast. I've always said that I can't edit as quickly on the computer as I can edit in my mind because of how the software is. You have basically blocks on a timeline that don't give you any visual indication or audible indication of what is actually there. And sure, you can see thumbnails on the clips and waveforms on the audio, but when you are listening to someone talking and trying to find a piece of something that you want for your edit, you can kind of hear it and then you have to go back and you can look at the waveforms and you can say, oh, I think they started here. So you go back, cut it, play it again to see where the statement ends. That whole process, doing that for, you know, 10, 20 hours of footage in like a documentary style always bothered me. You can read a half hour interview so much faster than you can listen to a half hour interview. And that's something that I didn't really realize until using this for real and noticing myself getting through an hour of footage much quicker than an hour of watching it. I am glad that I found this. I know that Resolve has this as well. I don't know the exact workflow in Resolve, but I edit in Premiere, so I'm sure you can do something similar in Resolve. All right, that's it. Peace.